Good morning, creator. How are you doing today? I'm finally back in my studio. Just kind of been, um, oh, cleaning my house and doing some online stuff. So here I am, ready to create again. Um, I'm really excited to actually share um, the Chalk Couture Designer Kit. If you're thinking about uh, getting into chalking and uh, you want to start out with some products, getting our designer kit and becoming a Chalk Couture Designer might be the thing for you because you're going to get that 40% off of our retail price when you order as a designer. Uh, there's just some minimum requirements. You can read all about that in my website page, chalkcouture.com slash Odessa Rose. Let me just show you a picture of the current kit because there is a bonus in it. For just the month of April, you're going to get the set of tags, wooden tags, clear under here I have some because we're going to work on them today. This is three of them. I think you get, I don't know if you get six or a dozen, but maybe maybe six. But these little wooden tags with strings and you get the little transfer that goes with them and I'll show that all to you later. But that's just a bonus of what you get in the kit. You get all these transfers, five jars of chalk paste, our catalog, and apron, um, and we're going to today, we're going to work on this when life gives you lemons, make something sweet. We're going to work with some lemons, and that's what our project's going to be today. So if you're interested in becoming a designer or wanting that 40% off discount, if you think you're going to do a lot of chalking or you're already enjoying chalking, check out the site. Let me go to that real quick. Do, do, do. Here's the site, chalkcouture.com slash Odessa Rose. And if you click on, you can click on it there, become a designer, or scroll down here in our departments and click Couture. And right here, create your own things, learn more, become a designer. And it has a little great, great video to show you there, it tells you all about it. So check that out. Another picture of the current kit. And I thought we would create from the kit today. So, oh, let me check me on Facebook here. Here I am. Awesome, say hello. Let me get this turn. All right. Cool, I'm gonna set this up here. So I can say hello to everybody. And let's start chalking. Oh, I got some new transfers out of our new, some are, some are current transfers already. And then I got some of our new transfers. And I did make a copy of our supplement catalog called Celebrations. So I can refer to that real quick for you guys. And this is our current catalog. Those all can be viewed on the website also of our current transfers. All right, let me just show you some of my new transfers I got. This was a current transfer in the last uh, spring summer catalog. It says ready, aim, fire, and then it says remember to wash your hands. So it's a cute little sign to make for your bathroom. Yep. Super cute. Some people are even just taking, uh, remember to wash your hands and maybe putting it on a, um, a soap pump or maybe they have a soap pump and they're putting that on a little tag that says remember to wash your hands. So there's a couple ways you can work with that. Cute on the board and pedestal sign or on just a uh, box frame or even the little uh, five by seven pallet sign. We have lots of different surfaces you can work that with. Do, do, do. I love latte, let's bake cookies, two great little kitchen signs. So you cut those apart and this would be one and that would be one. Okay. Wife, mom, boss. Uh, that is going to be awesome for Mother's Day, which is just right around the corner. Great on a t-shirt with our inks. Like that. Good morning, Kathy. Good morning, Vicki. 
And I got, an, I'm not even a coffee drinker. Now I had my own coffee shop with my gift store for how many years was that? A lot of years, but I never drank coffee. But I think it's going to be uh, very popular to make signs out of these to sell. So just kidding, I have no idea. A day without coffee is like, and this is just kidding, I have no idea. But then these are all cut apart, so different things you can do with them. Put the little ones on tags and put them on, on with the board. That would be cute. Whatever, I'm still fabulous. Great for a shirt. You hate coffee. I don't even drink it. I think I tasted it a few times, but or accidentally tasted it. I still don't like it. Um, sh she remembered. What does this say? I can never. This is from the Unsinkable collection called Mighty. But what does that say? Let's pull it out. I love the key on it, which is my main thing. I loved about this one is the key. The vintage skeleton key, but it says mighty. She remembered who she was and the game changed. La la da la. Yeah, that's a good one. I'm gonna like the key, I think, the most. I didn't get a whole lot of transfers yet. I'm just pacing myself. I have to get the s'more one. I haven't got it yet, but it's making cute signs for uh, like a uh, s'more bar for entertaining. Or just have home. This one comes in the starter kit, so we're going to work with this today. When life gives you lemons, make something sweet. It's got cute little lemon wedge, a whole lemon, some leaves, and some little splashes. So we're going to work with that today. So I want to show you some things you can make out of your kit. This is Dream Bigger. This is our Watts of Love transfer, which is our, um, what you, what you, huh. <laughs> this is what we donate money to is Watts of Love. And um, you can check all that out on our website too. But uh, $2 for every purchase of this transfer goes to Watts of Love. They um, create and build little solar lights for uh, underprivileged countries. This was uh, in the pre, this was not in the new catalog. This was an older transfer, live life with zest. So this fruits can coordinate with the lemon one that we just looked at, but it also says take the wedge off and pucker up. So those are kind of cute. I basically got those for the lemons. And I love this one, the gathering place where friends and family meet. Someday, hopefully, right? Uh, this is a great sign for your home, your family room, even your front door. That one. These are the good old days. It's a great sign. I like the smell, but not the taste, right? Good morning, Robin and Velo CC lovers. <laughs> good morning, Tamitha. Tamitha. I uh, like the smell, but not the taste. I sold the s'more transfer to a friend for her wedding favor baggies. It's an upcoming fall wedding. Can't wait. Oh, that's going to be cool. Yeah, I think that'll be fun to make uh, all the... I've seen all the cute little signs people are making. Uh, this one's cool. It's got this big suitcase on it, like a boss. Innovate, encourage, inspire. Those are all great words to put on a tag. And they actually have a tag transfer. So it'll be interesting. I mean, obviously you can put the tag up here on the suitcase and put those words on it. So that'll be fun. Um, lots of things you can overlay and do some layering on your suitcase. It's gonna be fun things to work with. And let all that you do be done with love. First Corinthians 6.14. Great sign. And one of my favorites, Welcome to our porch. Again, gather, chat, repeat. Fun, fun. Great sign for the porch. And another set of transfers for a bathroom. Freshen up, cut these apart, 
stay a uh, fresh soap and water five cents hand towels are free and hello sweet cheeks cute one to put by the toilet so those are gonna be fun signs all right so let's set all that aside these are similar to the colors you're gonna get in your designer kit currently I think the green might be a little bit brighter green but I couldn't tell for sure but basically around these so we're gonna work with um, white green and yellow today and I might pull out a brighter green like kiwi of kiwi and lime but you can um, add or mix a little bit of white and a little bit of yellow on a little tray or a little a plate and get a light yellow so you and same with your greens any of your colors mix a little white and get a lighter shade but so I don't have to mix I'm just going to grab my daffodil I think in case I want a lighter yellow. now also in your startup kit is the love brings you home which I just um, posted a video about love brings us home try me kit which you get the board and vase which is one of these you get single packets of guava and white, a mini squeegee, and this transfer for for right under $20, which is a 20% off savings. But all those things are in the startup kit, which is $99. Uh, so I'm just telling you that it's in the startup kit too. So you could look at it either way there. And these are the tags that are available only this month in the startup kit. And we're going to work on some tags. And this one that's in the startup kit. When life gives you limbs. On the Aiden board, which is in the startup kit. This is my original Aiden board for my kit two years ago. And I'm always uh, redesigning on this. So I'm gonna, I just did this on Saturday. Is that Saturday? And... Um, I'm going to wash it off and put the lemon one on so we can have fun with that. So just spritz it with water. And the best thing to have is this scraper tool that we have. Otherwise, you can take a lot of wipes and just keep wiping, but this is a lot faster. You can just scrape off the paste and wipe it up. people on today I got my order yesterday yeah I got mine a couple of days ago Tam Tamtha aka Tammy <laughs> maybe we'll just call you Tammy oh gosh good morning good morning Sharon they will say some more love oh that's cute 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 awesome okay caught up my hi Megan all right so we're cleaning this off the um, Aiden board is our one of our gallery boards, which is a um, porcelain coated magnetic board. The boutique boards have a different texture, but both of them are um, washable and, and redesignable. But this one is a nice smooth finish. It's magnetic. I wanted it puts uh, embellishment on magnets and just be able to remove them easy that way. I didn't even really need my Clorox wipe, I don't think. Looks like it came off pretty well. Okay, I'm kind of thinking we're going to do the tag first because that way we can figure out what we put. Usually you do the design first, then the embellishment, but I'm going to, I think I want to do the tag first. So these tags come in the kit right now. You can also buy these tags um, on the website. And let me just check that. I think, I'm trying to remember how many come in the package. Go to shop.
go to surfaces right here you get six for $9.99 and they come with the um, string tag and they're wooden and they're already primed white so that's cool all right so I have three left I only gonna need one and let's cut apart our lemons hello hello hi Deb hi Jen okay like I said this transfer comes in our startup kit or you can buy it on the site when life gives you lemons make something sweet so I'm gonna cut apart all the leaves and the lemon and the lemon wedge and the little splash marks And I'm just gonna work with uh, white, yellows, and greens today. Those colors come in your kit, if you get a kit this month or this season. The extra thing that's available in April are the tags and the tag transfer. So without increasing the cost of the kit. So it's like bonus. Everyone likes a bonus, right? Okay, so um, the idea is to make some lemons. I'll make a lemon. This is a gift box. You know those cheap little gift boxes? I'm gonna use the cardboard on it to chalk on and then cut it out in the shape of the lemon. So I'm gonna chalk on the lemon. I can't decide whether to do the lemon or the lemon wedge. But my idea is to then once I have it cut out, to put it on the kind of off the side of the tag here. And then I'm gonna put a pattern on a tag. Probably the stripe, well either the stripe or the argyle. And then put that lemon, stick it up here, okay? And then we'll end up tying the tag around the frame and then we'll have our sentiment when life gives you lemons and then we can always throw in some lemons down here or another pattern I don't really have a specific plan yet so we're gonna wing it today see how it goes good morning Cindy good morning Debbie you got your uh, yeah I got mine uh, what is, is today Wednesday or t what is today Tuesday Wednesday isn't it it is, isn't it? I don't even know. That's terrible. I don't know what day it is. But uh, I got mine the day before yesterday. Okay, so let's grab us a lemon. And I think, I think the whole lemon would be cute up here. So let's just do the lemon. And we'll just do it in the bright um, bumblebee color. So this, this, these gift boxes kind of have a, it looks like a wax coating on there. So I don't think it's going to um, tear the paper much, but you can see how sticky that is on there. Oh, it did tear it. So right there's your clue. See how it tore the paper up? Now that sticks on your transfer and you will not get that off. So you definitely want to fuzz and I'm going to put some wax on this. Because I don't want to ruin my transfer. I just got it, right? So get a little wax, any kind of wax. Or you can you can do Mod Podge. Um, brush on some Mod Podge and let it dry really well. And then chalk on top of it too, if you don't have wax. It kind of just gives a coating on top of the paper so that the paper doesn't tear. But I'm just going to take my Min Wax in the natural. This is the furniture polishing wax. So whatever brand you have, if you have some. I'm just going to rub it. I'm not sure you can see. Yeah. I'm just going to rub it on top of the paper. And that's going to create a coating. So the transfer doesn't stick to the paper and the paper doesn't stick to the transfer. And I may let that dry just a little bit before I actually chalk. So while that's doing that, we can, while that's drying, we can uh, move on to the tag. Okay. And let's tag.
peg. Let's put the peg in some green. I'm gonna use kiwi. I also have lime green. Oh, I got kiwi open. We'll just use that. It's not really gonna matter. Just giving it a mix. Consistency is pretty good. And let's put on the stripe. And I kind of wish I had a little word to put with it, but I think there'll be enough words on here. So I don't think we need a word on the tag necessarily. There are some words that come with the tag transfers. Um, there's home, gather, home, and love. But I think I'm just going to use the pattern and then put our lemon cut out up here in the hanging off the edge. Well, we're going to hot glue it on there. Or if, even if you didn't want it permanent, you could just use um, those glue dot things or, um, you know, some of those adhesive little things that come off easy. Or even double face tape. Okay, so I... I fuzzed that on my lap. I was just applying this to my fuzzing towel a couple times just so it's not too sticky that I can't get it lifted up off the, the um, tag. Super easy way to line these up is to lay that sticky side up and then lay this on top of it. That way you can line it up faster and easier, hopefully. I say that, but you can line it up pretty good. So we're gonna do the stripes. And let's take a mini squeegee here. So it's gonna be a green and white stripe. And the vintage worn look is already built into the transfer. It's got some age spots on it. But you can always sand it down too and make it even more vintage. After your chalk dries, take some sandpaper to it and wear down the the tag the wood tag edges and the chalk paste to wear it down to make it look worn. It's hard to grab onto because you everywhere you touch is paste. There. Okay, I've got that. I'll lay that in my water. Some of it off my fingers. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Mary Pat Randall. Cindy, Debbie. I think I've said hello to everybody. Okay, let's dry this real quick. So I can touch it. And it's hard to touch that because everywhere there's chalk. This is just my old embossing heat gun, um, but you can use, I really think you should use a cool air, like on your hair dryer, but it's louder than this, so that's why I use this when I'm on um, camera. But if, if it's gonna be something hot, just don't get too close or stay in one spot at one time, or you'll uh, heat up your chalk and make it kind of bubble it up. So uh, here's where I put the wax. It, when you first put it on, it looked kind of wet, and that, now it doesn't even look that way. So I think it's ready to go with the uh, lemon transfer. And we'll show you how it doesn't stick as much. Like, see, it just picks right up. So, excellent. So let's we'll make sure this is down flat. And let's grab our bumblebee. Squeegee on our lemon. Easy peasy. You see it picks up really easy having that wax 
on the cardboard. It did not stick to the transfer at all, or the transfer didn't stick to the cardboard paper. So we might need that lemon later. Okay, so let's dry that and we'll cut it out. to use my little Cricut mini scissors I got because they're short. The mini scissors will do. I'm going to leave a little bit of a border just to see if I want to leave a little bit of a white edge or um, cut right up close to it. I'm just going to see the what I want first. So basically I'm just cutting out the lemon. Cute little lemon. I think I'm done with my piece of cardboard. I could make a leaf, however. I could probably do it. Let me see how we're gonna. Um, we should put the this way. And then just glue that on there. I feel like it should say something. Hmm. I could do the love. I just feel like there's a lot of empty space there, like in black. Could do that. I don't think you get love in your kit, but, I mean black, excuse me. You get lots of love in your kit, <laughs> but I don't think you get black paste in the current kit, so order some. <laughs> You're going to want it. Okay, because we're probably going to have a bow and a ribbon and whatnot up there. So let's bring this down low a little bit. Because we're working on a black chalkboard. That's our fourth color. So let's make it black. Gonna take much. Okay. And let's see what these leaves look like. Here's a little one. We should do a little green leaf. Maybe we'll do it in a darker green. See if I can get it all the way on there. I'm gonna put a bunch of fuzz on it from the towel again. I really miss chalking if I haven't done it in a few days. And I hadn't. I don't think I had since Saturday, so just had to get back in the back in the groove. There's a cute little leaf. Dry it. see that you put all the transfer pieces back into the I do how do you store them the uh, size A and size B transfers I store in these trays the larger ones I hang on hangers and hang in a closet and no I try to put them kind of by themes or by seasons in the closet and then these I 
um, like all the A's are in one tray. And the B's, I, I've had to start sorting out. Oh, I have seasonal ones. And then um, like fall and Christmas. And then I do kind of ones that are cut aparts in one tray and the ones that, are, that keep a solid sheet in another tray. I just started doing that. Okay, so you can see how this um, leaf is mostly white. I mean, it's white. I'm gonna fill in the white with some watered down chalk paste. So I'm kind of doing the water coloring effect so I can make it more of a solid green. And I'm just trying to find a really, really small brush, but of course I'm not locating one. Um, I'm gonna wet my brush just with some water here and Maybe I'll we'll go into the light green. And I'm actually just, I don't know if you can see it, I'm mixing it on the edge of my table. So I'm gonna wipe it off here in a little bit. I'm just getting some, some of the, um, what was it called, kiwi or lime, the lighter green. And I'm just gonna fill it in. And that is almost too wet. So I'm just gonna dab it. I need to get it not so watery. There we go. This is easier to do before you cut it up. So you can hang on to the edges. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe that up. And I'll have to wash my brush later. Okay, so I have it filled in. And I'm gonna dry it real quick and then cut it out. Sometimes after water coloring, they'll play they'll place the transfer back on top and and chalk like that dark green again just to get the um, definition of the lines a little bit more. But they're they're showing through pretty good on this one, so I'm not gonna lay it back on top. So they would lay this. You could lay this back on top and redo the dark green just so uh, you know they're brighter and show up better. But this isn't bad, so I'm just gonna leave it like it is and cut it out. Just depending on how sharp and crisp you want the transfer. And sometimes it really needs it. It really needs to have that put back on if your watercolor goes, blends in too well with it. If that makes sense. Sometimes people use um, like foam board to do, to do this, like cut out the little pieces. And can you use just paper? If you want black, use like the black foam board. Okay, so there's my little leaf and my lemon. I don't want to get my my uh, backer sheets mixed up with my scraps and throw them away. Okay, so let's shift gears a little bit. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to glue it on just yet because I want to make sure it's in the direction I would want it. So let's go back to our Aiden board and figure this out. I was kind of thinking about putting the, um, using this plaid down here. I think I can like make a pattern of it along the bottom somehow. And then put 
in this tag here. We'll put this down here. So I'll probably want to do this in um, white and then yellow and white and yellow. So I think I'll do this argyle and green across the bottom. I'm going to have to match it as I go. I'm going to put the in the middle and then I'll match to the left and to the right. Because I love pattern. If you watch me, I like pattern and layers. So say hello. Is your desk a dream box? It's a um, scrapbook or original, original scrapbook box, whatever you call them. Yeah. I don't know. It might be the dream box uh, style. I don't remember the style. It's a big one. Okay, so I got my fuzz to my argyle pattern. And I just want to make sure that it goes into the down to the edge of the chalkboard. Look, it's crooked. Actually, I'm going to put a piece of placement tape or painter's tape so I have a definite um, end to the plaid. So, let me get a piece of tape here. I probably want to get... Go right across the halfway mark right there. And we're going to do this in green. I'll do it in the light green. I do have everything right, pretty much everything right here handy. I had to get me another cart over here. But believe me, I have <laughs> surfaces, empty surfaces piled up in a couple different rooms because the rest of this room is my husband's, uh, our home office desk. So I wish I had the whole room to myself, but then I could pretty much contain everything in here. But I don't, so. That's okay. Someday I'm gonna get me a she shed. Maybe not a shed, but a room. a bit of a bubble in my silk screen so hopefully it doesn't mess up the pattern too much I'm going to dry this
So we're going to place the pattern down again. Let's see. Yeah, it's just going to have to go stripe, solid, stripe, stripe, solid, stripe. I'm not going to try to go alternate every other pattern. That would be crazy. Green again. And then we're going to put it over here, do it on this side. So I'm just trying to show how you can take the two patterns that come in our designer kit this month. We get the bonus of the tags and the tag transfer for extra free, basically. Because normally you don't get those in the kit. And applying them to the Aiden board, which comes in the kit with the When Life Gives You Lemons transfer, which is also in the kit this month. All right. That, that, so you can see it there. I'm gonna put this in the water because we'll get to use it again on another project after we wash it. Throw that tape away too. And I really need to clean my hands because I got green paste all over them. So, yeah, you got to look at all our patterns. I mean, we have our big patterns, right? And you think of using them as patterns, but even on our little tags or the eggs, cutout patterns, the trees, the pumpkin one, all those patterns, you might be able to use like this in another different way. So you gotta think outside the box. I got a little green paste on my frame. Let me get that off. I touch something I get more yellow and green on it. I could need another wipe. Okay. Alright. That was kind of messy. Kind of messy. Alright. Let's dry this up.
and see where we're going. We'll get those glued on there. And then we have the, the patterns are all looking good. So now we just need to put the sentiment on and get our tag put together with some ribbon. And we'll call it a project. Okay, I'm gonna fuzz this one. Fuzzing, take a terry cloth towel. This is our fuzzing cloth that's um, available to purchase. Got a mess going on here. above the argyle. Right in the middle. We're gonna do um, yellow for lemons and sweet and white for the smaller font. I usually try to use, um, if you're on a blackboard, use white for smaller fonts so that you can read them really well and then the colored for the larger fonts. And if you're on a whiteboard, just the opposite, use black or a really, really dark color. The darkest color you're working with. And then the lightest color you're working with on a dark. That all makes sense. So, we're probably going to want to get, get this going really quick so we don't have to paste and peel. So, white. Okay. That was a little. Okay. Shouldn't give him that extra. Peel that down because it's starting to doesn't dry on there. There's a little bit there, yellow right there. Let that dry. softening this edge up a little bit with something that's going to have to be something solid like 
or we can just add these in there too. That might soften everything up a little bit. Those little kind of like splashes. Could make one more cardboard and set it down there. We could kind of balance that all out. Be kind of cute. Question is, what color to do the splashes in? Could go to a um, light yellow. This is called Daffodil. Sorry, I'm sniffing, but my nose is running. I didn't take my allergy medicine last night because I try not to take it every 24 hours. Okay, let's do that. These little splash marks. This gives it more of a refreshing look. like I want it on the argyle or not on the argyle. We'll just do the little wedge down there. And one more over here. Because I want to do the lemon wedge right down here. Just one. But I'm probably going to have to put some wax on it. Unless I buzz it really, really well. I'm just going to, I don't know if it will buzz enough or not. Put it on my pants, put it on my towel, get as much fuzz on it as I can. And I won't press down on the edges very much. Let's hope it didn't stick. lucky. Alright, dry and cut. safe to put all these pieces in the water. I don't think I'm going to be using them. I want to cut out the lemon wedge.
I am going to leave uh, a little bit more of a border on this so it shows up off of that green argyle. glue this on there or I could just use sometimes I just use double face tape if it sticks like let's see if it sticks that way if I want to use this tag at Christmas time I could just take off the lemon still keep the green stripe and the love on there how it sticks. And I'll put some twine on it. And same with this guy down here. Just going to put a piece of it on there. Because I never make anything permanent on my Aiden board. Now if it was something I was going to sell, I would glue it on. I'd make it more permanent. There. Okay, so somewhere I have the strings to these tags and I'm going to string up my tag and we'll put some ribbon around the top and make a pretty bow if I wanted to not use twine I could use like some you know white ribbon or something I didn't want it to have that look Now, let's clean up some of my mess before we start dealing with ribbon. Put everything in the water. Just try to scrape the sides down. It looks like this one hasn't been done in a while. Get that chalk down in the paste that's collected up on the sides. Add a little water to it before I close it up because I added all those dried chunked paste down in it. So get, try to get it rehydrated. lid on the right jar. Oop. And one more squeegee. Okay. All our little pieces over there. We're done with these. all over me okay so I got this this is the only thing I have yellow I used that the other day on my watermelon picture if you're gonna go all the way around
kind of wishing I had these further down. So I'm going to move them down. Because I think the bow is going to be in the way. That really sticks pretty good, the double face tape. At least the first time. <laughs> Let me get a new. It's sticking to my finger, but I can't get it to stick to the board. There it goes. This one will probably just tie in a knot and then um, we can add um, some other ribbon. I'm going to tie this really tight, just make a knot. some greens, but I should have been pulling out some, like, buffalo plaid in black and white. That would look pretty. So I'm just going to cut some strips and do the messy bow. two of them since I don't have much other ribbon I'm going to put in. So two strips of that. Got some lime green in this. And you basically you just make X's. Got lots of green. What else can I Solid black with uh, some white on the edge. I'm not seeing it. put the whitest ribbon on the bottoms and then start with thinner ribbons to the top. I'll do some of these. Pom pom things are kind of cute. use this and you take a big ribbon and then you go across your X flip your X over and then you're going to tie it in the back cinch it up Where you get it super tight, flip it back to the front and just kind of even out your ribbon strips if they got kind of off. Make them kind of even on both sides. When that looks good, then you continue to cinch, tie it in a knot. Now I want to tie my tag on. Do this bow up here. And let's see how that looks. Okay, then I'm going to wrap 
this around it. And I'm just gonna tie it, loop it once, like you're tying your shoe for the first step. And then I'm gonna bring it around and tie it in a bow on top of all your strips like this. I'm gonna finish tying my shoe on the top. So you kind of have another little loop-de-loo -loo of ribbon there. And then you just fiddle with it how you want it. And you can trim, even use the um, double face tape if you want to tack something in place. Like maybe you want to tack those up there or whatever, or cut them. And then I want this to be right here. So this is where I might move my lemon again to over this side so I can see it better. Let's see what that looks like. So maybe you want your lemon on this side. you like it and then probably trim those up trim that up and put the I don't have any of those glue dot things but I think that would work great right there to hold that in place and one up here in the corner to hold that in place you get the idea right I just need to get some of those I don't want to put glue on my board because I'm going to reuse this board. Like I said, if it was a permanent piece, then I would definitely be going for the hot glue. But even with the um, double face tape, I might be able to accomplish what I want to accomplish. And then you could cut these off short too. So let's see if it works. Get the idea. Oh, yeah, it's double face tape. Let's see if I can get that to stick. I don't know if it'll work on the ribbon. We'll try it. See everything okay? I think so. There we are. When life gives you lemons, make something sweet. That was kind of fun. So I made, um, other than the ribbon, everything, the transfers and the paste would be in the startup designer kit if you want to become a designer. All these things you can make from your kit. How cool is that? Love it. Fun, fun, fun. Took the plaid from the tags and did that three times down here. I put a piece of tape across here. So I just have the bottom part of the tag pattern. And I used the other tag pattern on the actual tag. The tag comes in your kit too. Then I cut out the lemons and everything from a shirt box. Make sure you wax that shirt box first or brush it down with Mod Podge and let it dry because the transfer will stick to the box, the paper of the box. And, and that's really, you really cannot get paper off the back of your transfer once it's stuck on there. So make sure you wax it or put on a layer of Mod Podge and allow it to dry. And then just add some ribbons. Fun, fun. Check out the kit. 
at chocotour.com slash Odessa Rose. If you want to become a designer, click on become a designer and you can get the kit for $99. All this would be in your kit with the exception of the ribbon and the paper box. So you can do it guys. Thanks for joining me today. Happy chalking and any other questions? I don't think so. Bright and cheery. Love it. Thanks, Karen. Clarissa's watching. Thanks, Vicki. So cute. Love it, says Mary. Thanks, guys. Happy chalking, and I'll chalk with you later. Bye.